Hey y'all over the vault here. Welcome back to some more Cult of the Lamb. Let's go ahead and just jump right back in. I'll see you back. Okay. All right, let's come down here. So, ooh, your death has made your followers think you are weak. No! Let's see, do I have enough to even do anything else? Yeah, I guess so. Let's do some sleeping bags. All right, so now they'll have body pit. Ooh, okay. So the nice thing here is very unstable will often collapse, um, but it will allow them to sleep. So hopefully they'll be a little less bitchy. Let's see. There we go. What do we have here a farming bundle. All right, so farmer station allows followers to water nearby crops. Got it, okay. Well, at least we can build something now. Let's make a couple of these. Go. Think that should be good? For them, I mean. <laughs> All right, and then farm plots. Farming will be important because apparently this shit doesn't grow back. Oh, was he trying to tell me something? Oh, what's up, Huna? Great leader, the cult is growing by the day. Oh. Oh shit, I did not even realize what it was. Apparently we have to name our cult. We're gonna keep it Cult of the Lamb, of course. Cult of the Lamb, that has a nice ring to it. Yeah, we're gonna leave it Cult of the Lamb. I don't, I don't really wanna do anything different. It is kind of nice though that it, it doesn't necessarily hurt you too much to die. Cause I definitely was getting a little nervous about that, especially when I play games like this. I tend not to, uh, if I don't play it all at once or keep playing it, I tend to get pretty bad at it. <laughs> and it usually takes me a while to get back like into the game itself. So I'm really glad to see that they kind of made the deaths inconsequential. It kind of goes with the story too. I mean, obviously that's, that's a nice, uh, a nice, uh, what's the word I'm trying to go for? A nice way to do it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Without doing a very well, or a very good job of saying it. All right, any other berry bushes? Here we go. Okay, good. All right, Mano. Mano, Mano, that's not a bad name. We're gonna actually stick with that. We're gonna stick with your style, but let's you let's go classic giraffe on you. Um, nah, we're gonna stick to classic giraffe. All right. So we've got, uh, you also like to uh, eat shit, natural skeptic. All right, and gullible. All right. Sweet, okay. Um, so let's see, really only, I'm gonna have you worship. Cause I don't really have a lot of other items that I can really do right now. And I've got, I think I've got plenty of logs and stuff. Um, now let's do a sermon. All right. Having five of them will actually be pretty useful. All right, so let's see. Bane weapons. Let's see. Chance of poisoning enemies when attacking. All right, let's see. Curse of the Horde. Three new curses will, will appear. I think we'll go with the Bane weapons. I think those are probably our best option. Woo, okay. So we have unlocked a whole new level. Sweet. So I think that was worth it. Let's look at the rituals. Um, can we do this now? We sure can. Yes. Okay, we got enough bones. Woo! Oh, that is actually super cool. <laughs> this game is so cool. I love this. Okay. I think we're good now. Indoctrinating followers is well and good, but there is so much more that you can take from them. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings from them, and you will increase their loyalty to you. Once you, they are totally loyal to you, they will give you everything they own. Watch as I show you. Your follower, come back in here. Wait. You, follower, come back in here. Got it. I'm an idiot. Okay. So increase a follower's loyalty to level them up and they will reward you with devotion and a commandment stone. All right. 
Each time a follower levels up, they will generate additional devotion when at the sermon or worshiping at the shrine. So be sure to cultivate their loyalty. To increase their loyalty, you can give a follower a blessing once a day you interact with them. Got it. That sounds actually, that sounds perfect. You can also give them gifts, complete quests for them, perform sermons, and many other actions. The more loyal followers you have, the stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and grow weary. Visit me at my home and I will show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. Oh, okay. Only Shack. Got it. All right. Ooh. All right. So interact with any follower to perform a blessing. And I assume... Let's see. I'm make demands of you? Oh, I guess, yeah. Okay. I probably don't have any gifts I can give to you, though, do I? Oh, I do. Okay. I am going to go ahead and give him the necklace. I mean, the devotion seems to be very important, so it's kind of like... <laughs> stick with that. Ooh, you are very close. Now, how do I know if, like, a specific follower is... They serve... Okay, a follower will never sleep. Ooh. Ooh. Plus, that'll get you straight up there. Yes! Right. Nice! Okay, so we can unlock a different ritual now. Okay. Damn, there's, like, so much fun stuff to do in this game. Um, give a blessing. And there's just poop sitting over here. What are we doing with this? We're cleaning it. Sickness. Unsanitary conditions for your cult will cause your... Oh, followers become sick. If they become sick, assign them to bed rest or they'll die. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illness to spread quickly throughout your cult. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Got it. Okay. Looked almost like he was chasing that uh, butterfly there. So we'll definitely want to make sure that we interact with all of our followers. Oh, was there something? Oh, no, it was chop. I thought it said clean up. Not what I meant to do, but I guess we're going to do it. Here we go. Actually wanted to do was to get some of our lovely berries. Was there something else that lit up? No, it was just that. Okay. I don't have anyone currently assigned to gathering berries. I don't know if anyone can be, but figure... It makes sense if I am applied. Or if I'm assigned, excuse me. Ooh, there's a lot more shit out here than I thought there would be. What the hell? What are you guys doing? <laughs> Can we not have plumbing? Uh, I think we need to have plumbing. Take those berries. Okay. These do they need to be? Ooh, oh! Oh, this is sweet. Okay, so we can add fertilizer now. Okay, that is actually really cool. Okay, so we've got some fertilizer, and then let's just make sure, I think, yeah, let's make some more. There we go. Obviously, that's a very easy one to cook, so that was totally worth doing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. So now I can do this, and then I can actually assign them to... Perfect. Okay. Ooh, okay, so we would be able to get to cult too. Upgrade temple and shrine, collect more devotion. Okay, and allow more followers to pray. All right. Well, I'm not very pleased with the fact that uh, obviously I've done a pretty bad job on some of our things, but let's go ahead and visit the lonely shack. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Sweet, okay. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. So you have discovered my humble cottage. Well, not really. You told me where it was. Um, be careful you don't make the same mistakes I did or you will end up in a place just like this. Now, perhaps a game of knuckle bones. You don't know it? Why, it's simple. Step up to the table and I will show you. I will in just a second. What is this? Ooh, okay. So that'll erase somebody's... Uh, okay. Okay. Knuckle Bones, a dice game of risk and reward. 
How to play. Your score is calculated by adding your dice together. Match dice. When the dice of the same color or same number, excuse me, are placed in the same column, multiply their value. Destroy opponent. Uh, destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. I don't get it, but I think we'll figure it out. Oh, that's not good. I guess that's my only choice. Oh boy, that's bad. I mean, this is not going to add up well. Is it like just a given that he's going to win or something? Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. That kind of works out though, because I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I really needed that one anyway. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm finally starting to get this. I think I get it. So I can use mine basically to destroy his. There we go. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay, let's destroy that one. Okay. Shit. This is legitimately, though, kind of a cute game. I kind of like this. It's not good. Um, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> We're not doing that great, are we? Hmm. Yep, I'm kind of fucked now. Okay. Um, will this help me? Yeah, okay. So if we got three in a row. Yo, we, but we tied. I guess, I guess he wins even if we tie. Okay, no one can beat the great Ratu at knuckle bones. Care to play again? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to play again. Obviously, though, we're gonna be able to to beat him at some point. Okay, lamb rolls first. All right. Hey, right. let's try this again. Um, let's put you here. I'm gonna make sure that I can maybe do a little bit better this time. Ah! Oh, oh, son of a bitch! I didn't realize he could take out both of them that way. All right, well, fuck you. <laughs> All right, we need a two. No, I do not need a one. Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> We're going to be able to do this. All right. Uh, ooh, a six. Ah. Uh, I think I'm going to put it here. That one is really fucking me up. Okay. I don't really care if you got rid of my one. Whatever, dude. Um, here. Perfect. Woo. All right. Let's do that. Okay, shoot. Uh, this one. We'll do it here. Well, that still isn't much. Okay. And this uses a lot more strategy than I, uh, I think my brain is ready for. I mean, this will only bring us to 10. This will... Let's put it here. Maybe this will get us to 6. <clears throat> oh, yes. Okay. Sweet. Shit. <laughs> Four. Ah, damn it. I can't use it in the place I want to use it. Okay. Don't really have a choice. There we go. Nice. Okay. I figured we had to win at some point. All right. Buy the one below. You're a natural. Here, you've earned yourself a prize. A tarot card. All right. So what do we got? Uh, gain an extra heart. Okay. I could definitely use that. Hey. So we have a half a heart and an extra heart now. Great. Now you had a taste of the game. Care to wager some coin? Oh, shit. Okay. I guess we can do... I don't have enough coins, but we can at some point bet with him. Hey. 
Not bad. Can I collect? Oh, yes, I can pick the berries. Oh, sweet. Okay, this is awesome. And what the hell is that? It looks like a... Is that like a mini shrine or what's going on over there? Oh, okay. I must thank you. By relieving me of my duties, you have granted me what I desire most, peace. Now that I have taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days playing knuckle bones. I have friends on their way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch, to be sure. But now I am retired, I am free to enjoy myself. Nice. Okay. One thing I can do here that's kind of nice is I can actually... Uh, I can turn off like the letters changing colors and floating and stuff. 